Just making a record of the progress on the high miles per gallon project. And what you're looking at is a latching relay that I got on Amazon for about $17. And this particular latching relay, the way it works, and I've already got the, everything color coded so that I can install it rather quickly. This basically will be the positive terminal of the, of the battery. And then these two leads right here are what I will be momentarily switching from. In, in effect, basically what that's going to do is cause these circuits that are run through here on the right side to either be connected or disconnected. And the purple wires will be the positive and the negative. And the way this is going to work, because it's a double pull, double throw, the input of the solar panel is going to come in, for example, here, and it's going to exit right there. So that'll be like the positive lead leading to the battery. And this will basically be cutting that or connecting it. And then this will be the negative lead. And these can be basically, you could use your, you could do the positive up here with these two, or you could do the negative up here with these two. So it's either going to be connecting two different wires, positive, negative, or it's going to be disconnecting two different wires, positive, negative. And the purple ones, are associated with the purple wire that sticks out over here on the left and the blue ones will be connected when the momentary switch connects or momentarily touches the blue on this side over here and the the coordinated symbols that they put on here the CX RX and SX and all that are they're very confusing and so I basically just took a ohm meter and color coded everything so that when I go out to my vehicle and I hook up the solar panel I'll be able to just basically and this is probably what I'll do is I'll just take the positive from the solar panel stick it in here negative from the solar panel put it in there and then run this to the negative of the battery terminal and this to the positive of the battery terminal and there's going to be a diode in there on the positive side so I don't get any reverse voltage damaging the solar panel and the reason you want to go with the latching relay is because it doesn't take any power there's there's no energy drain or no um, parasitic drain from the battery and that's a very important because let's say you only got a 50 watt solar panel that only puts out one amp you don't want to be using uh, one tenth amp for some relay or your charge controller and I don't like to use a charge controller because it knocks your voltage down and you really need to have voltage that is going to be above the battery voltage and the charging circuit can keep that battery voltage up to about 14 and when you start using a charge controller it's hard to get that voltage up to 14 because the charge controller knocks the voltage down quite severely so I just go with manual and I just switch everything and then I have a voltage meter inside the car. So basically this is more detailed information on the latching relay. And if you look at the back, it is possible to solder this thing in hard wire. Um, I'm not going to go that route because it's only a one tenth volt drop and the diode has a 500 ohm um, resistance on it and these only have one tenth of an ohm so it's not even worth their time to solder directly and plus if you ever need to change this component out it's a lot easier if, if you're going to just um, use screw, screw terminals and I will probably make a little plastic box for this and it'll probably be made out of uh, duct tape and plastic and I'll just cut it to the right size because it's just you know it's not that big a deal you could purchase a project box but it's hard sometimes to get them to fit just per perfectly so um, anyway that's all I got for the latching relay and thank you for watching